I love teaching this course because I really love working with these extremely creative students that have very little barriers on what they imagine that they can do. They believe that they can do anything. And in this class, they learn that they can. And we really empower them to believe that they can tackle some of the most critical problems that society has to deal with today. They focus on something that they can actually build and present. Something that is related to that bigger level problem that they defined. It's one thing to think of a problem, but then thinking of solutions is a hard part. This class definitely provides the student with experience that I think is very unique to the MIT environment altogether. The students are divided into teams early on. A very important aspect of teamwork is communication. We have, as part of the staff, communications instructor. We really like to give the students feedback on the way that they're communicating. Getting this feedback really early on in their academic career will really help them and push them forward. A lot of other classes focus on, you know, the theory, whereas this is you're actually focusing on a specific problem and you're creating something, you know, physically to figure out a way to solve that problem. Basically, they told us to solve some problem using civil and or environmental engineering design. Go. When you start on a problem from scratch, you're able to choose everything about it that you want to test, and so you really have that freedom. So it's also really cool to see the variety of different areas covered. Each of the projects was on a completely different topic. We were proposing a wildlife bridge across the Florida I-4. We came across the Florida I-4 because we were interested in wildlife bridges. I kind of wanted to do something related to weather just because climate change is like exacerbating the rate of extreme weather events. Looking at different structural designs, we were able to find a safety structure that maybe two to four people could get inside. It's become something that they would keep at their house that they could be protected from falling objects. We knew kind of right away that we wanted to use a 3D printer because it can make well-designed structures that are consistent since we knew we wanted to do multiple tests. We looked at the McGregor Wind Tunnel. When you walk down dorm row to go to the dining hall, you pass this dorm with this very tall tower. And as you pass that, the wind is just so in your face. <laughs> and in the winter, it's really uncomfortable. We all just got together and literally drew it out on pen and paper. And then after we prototyped with simple stuff like cardboard and duct tape, we came up with our final model and we iterated that design in Fusion 360. It was really helpful to learn how to do that because um, we were able to see different problems that we hadn't thought of on pen and paper. Then we had our materials acrylic, which is best cut in a laser cutter. By the end of the class, they're not only capable of coming up with their own idea and thinking of how to tackle these big world problems that society faces today, but also to begin to understand how to solve them. I learned how to basically better define the problem. Why hasn't it been solved before? What are physical constraints, time constraints? How do you fit all of those into a product that actually works well? It inspires them to think of how engineering can make a difference and why sometimes the very rigorous and hard classes that they're learning through their career are important for solving real-life problems. <laughs>